So shoulder instability is what a dislocation is. So when you hear about a dislocation or a separation of the shoulder, those are different things. A dislocation is when the ball slips out of the socket, okay? A shoulder separation is where the end of your collarbone separates from the shoulder blade. And that's up at the top of your shoulder where the AC joint is. So largely when you talk about instability or dislocations of the shoulder, it's when the ball leaves the socket. When that happens, different things can occur or different damage can occur within the shoulder, okay? And it really depends on the age of the patient. So the younger you are, you're more likely to tear the ligaments around the shoulder. And the older you are, the more likely you are to tear the muscles around it. So the ball sits under the socket, just like a golf ball and a golf tee. So the first thing is you have a ring of tissue around the socket, kind of like a golf tee with a rubber ring around it, and that's the labrum, okay? The labrum is that bumper of tissue that deepens the socket and it provides an attachment for the ligaments. The ligaments are like rubber bands. So some people are more flexible than others. So some people are stretchy and they're, uh, they can move their arms a lot, and some people become stiffer. The older you get, the, more, the stiffer you become. The the ligaments are elastic, but they're not going to change. So you're either stretchy or you're not. You're stiff, okay? The outside of that are the muscles, and those are the muscles of the rotator cuff. The muscles are dynamic. They change. They can contract. So if the ball wants to slip off to the socket, the ligaments will spring back and forth like a rubber band, and then the muscles will contract to try to hold it in into position. So if the ball leaves the socket and it dislocates, then you may damage one of those. The younger you are, meaning 20 or less, the more likely you are to tear the ligaments. So the labrum can pull away from the rim or you can tear the ligaments, okay? If the ligaments tear and you're young, you have a much higher rate that it'll continue to dislocate. In fact, under the age of 20, about 90%, sometimes more, can continue to have dislocations in the shoulders afterwards if that's the first time they dislocate. As you age, you become less flexible, and so those ligaments can start to tighten up. So now you, you concentrate or rely more on the muscles to hold the ball in. So if you're older, say over the age of 40, and you dislocate, it's much more unlikely that you'll ever have another dislocation, okay? And it doesn't really matter at that point if you tore the, the ligaments or not most of the time. However, you're much more likely to tear the rotator cuff. And so if you tear the rotator cuff, now that's a separate issue, which is with your acute rotator cuff. No, I mean, dislocations can come out in any different direction. The vo most of the time, if you dislocate, the ball comes out the front, but sometimes it goes out the back. If a ball dislocates out the back, those are commonly missed injuries, especially in urgent cares or in ERs, because they, they may not see them or look at them the right way on an x-ray. And so uh, uh, if somebody has an injury and they have a loss of motion and they can't rotate their arm, then you have to have some concern that there was a dislocation uh, that may have occurred. So there's three reasons you can have a decreased range of motion of the shoulder. One's a dislocation. Two is some bone deformity, whether that's an acquired thing like arthritis or if that's something like a, um, a congenital issue. And the third is a frozen shoulder, where you have a ball that sits on a socket and it looks perfect on an x-ray, but the soft tissues become tight and it restricts what your motion is. So the treatment of instability really is gonna be directed based on your age. Because the chances of recurrent dislocations is so high when you're under the age of 20, you're more likely to consider early surgery so that they don't have those repeat dislocations. Surgery largely is based on what the problem is. And like I said, the most common is that the labrum, which is that bumper of tissue around the, the rim, pulls away. And so if that pulls away, then you can surgically reattach that tissue back down to the, to the bone. And you can do that arthroscopically where you look in there with a the camera to do it. Now sometimes when the ball comes off, it can actually break the bone or lead to bone loss. The more times the ball slips in and out of the socket, the more it can wear the rim down. Now it's like a golf ball with a golf tee that has a chip out of it. So sometimes if that that's the case, it becomes a more complex issue and you have to replace bone in addition to the soft tissues. So there's different procedures to do that. So if you, if you have a dislocation and, uh, and you're under the age of 20, then you may consider doing surgery earlier. There's healing time for that, that's 10 or 12 weeks. So we do start some initial range of motion as early as three weeks after surgery. And then we start doing some strengthening along the way because the importance is you heal the soft tissues of the ligaments, but then you gotta build the strength of the muscles to protect that repair long-term so it doesn't happen again.
people can dislocate again. So uh, under the age of 20, if you dislocate, you can, be, uh, you can have recurrent instability as high as 90%. If you have it repaired, you can reduce that chance of dislocation to about five to 15%.